Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm at Electronica 2014, and I'm joined by Anita from Flextronics. Anita, thanks for stopping by to chat. I know you're on your way to a congress in uh, Austria to talk about innovation. Tell me a little bit about how Flextronics connects with innovators, startups um, in the electronics space. You know, there's an increasing democratization of how people are doing design, and more and more, the time to market is getting very critical for a lot of the companies. And it's, you know, it's very time consuming for them to identify disruptive technologies, disruptive technology suppliers, qualify them, uh, hire engineers with the right kind of talent, especially if they're looking to get into adjacent or new markets. Mm -hmm. And that's really where Flextronics can bring a lot of the value to the table. Uh, we help innovators all the way from ideation, and concept mm -hmm. level uh, thinking, uh, to creating their product specifications, their product requirements documents, um, all the way to identifying the right emerging disruptive technologies that they can use to differentiate their products. Um, and sometimes even in areas that they're not looking to differentiate their products, we can help them sort of reduce time to market by using already pre-qualified mm. technologies, um, proving that out with prototyping. So we do that especially in our product innovation centers. A lot of uh, low volume, um, high mix, fast quick builds to prove out concepts, um, 3D printing, whether it's metal or plastics, okay. to kind of prove out the form factor and then taking them into volume manufacturing. So those are all the different avenues yeah. we can help uh, innovators. Yeah, I mean, I look at it as this kind of, um, sometimes this triangle where you've got finance, innovation, and product fulfillment, manufacturing, whatever you want to call it, and getting that mix right is, is really important. You mentioned the product innovation centers. You have one in Milpitas, you also have one here in Althoven. There yes. are a couple of others worldwide. Yes. Tell me where they are, and also how do they, how do they operate from an innovator's point of view? So we have our flagship product innovation center, uh, which we call our customer innovation center based in Milpitas, but we also have one in Israel, we have one in Althoven, we've got one in China. And we're looking to develop more, um, more of them globally and geographically. Mm -hmm. And they're really areas where customers can come in, um, go all the way from design um, and prototyping uh, to um, smaller volume of production to, to ramping all the way. And there are customer confidential centers where you know they can choose the level of security they want. So it also helps them keep some of their development really mm. confidential yeah. um, and sort of away from the market before they're ready for prime time. Yeah. And, and You've got obviously the one in, in the middle of Silicon Valley. Is that the one that, that, that's really had the, had the most people through it, had the most um, innovators visit? You know, so far we've had a lot of uh, interest in our Silicon Valley uh, customer mm. innovation center and there's been a lot of traffic and attention we've been able to pull through. Um, and especially because of the location. Yeah. Um, and a lot of our customers really enjoy taking a tour of that, um, not just for the uh, space, uh, but also for the equipment it has and the labs that yeah. are associated with it and, and so forth. Yeah, and, and the third part of the triangle, apart from the, the, the technology and the innovation, is finance. And you, you have a, a it's Lab 9 project that, yes. that actually does get involved in some funding. Yeah, we, we have our hardware accelerator. Um, we call that Lab 9. And, and it's actually really for us to identify up-and-coming uh, disruptors in the technology space. Um, these could be companies with a very uh, innovative technologies um, that we're helping them get to market. Mm. Um, and we do that with both... Um, you know, cash investment as well as in-kind services, right. and a very interesting space um, associated with our innovation centers where they can work and collaborate, um, as well as you know, uh, put product through the innovation yeah. center. Yeah, because the whole finance market, particularly in the U.S., but also here in Europe, has completely changed. We're seeing more crowdfunding. We're seeing Kickstarter and things like that become quite successful. What what? is your kind of criteria for, for choosing um, companies to, to get involved in? Is it those that have got enabling technology that you can then multiply through different manufacturing or is it just someone with a really cool idea that you think will hit a market? Spot? No, I think we're, as we're looking at some of these disruptive technologies, the investors are also critical for the startup. So it's not just the fact that they can get cash, it's you know what the cash brings to the mm. table um, for them. 
and so it's, it should be a win-win relationship where we want to be bringing as much to the table to help these startups succeed. We want them to be succeeding because of their um, involvement with Flextronics. And so we're selecting people uh, with disruptive technologies that we can bring into the mainstream, that we can bring into the products we make for our customers, the products we develop. But at the same time, we're looking at, you know, how do we enable them to be successful yeah. by what we can do for them. Yeah, and if you think about that in terms of an innovator that's, that's maybe, maybe gone through either that process or the product innovation process, with other funders, with other venture capitalists, having a partner with like Flextronics must be an opener for, for quite a lot of those. Oh, absolutely. Further rounds of funding. Oh, absolutely. And we also work with um, you know a few select um, investment houses. Okay. Because in the end of the day, people who are doing the investing are giving cash uh, to startups that they really believe in. Hmm. But they also are very much vested in the success, and they want to know that this cash they're giving uh, is being used yeah. in a manner that helps the startup yeah. or this company succeed. And and their a partnership between uh, Flextronics and the investment house it helps make sure that their dollar goes a little further yeah. in getting the services uh, that the companies need. Because very often, you know, if you're looking at a, for an example, a startup that's making a variable product or. Um, you know, uh, an immersive uh, variable technology or an augmented reality uh, product. They've got an area of which is their uh, sort of core competency mm. and it might be in the software or it might be in the sort of ecosystem they're building. But then there might be other areas which are not as core to them, such as maybe you know the molding and the the electronics yeah. or the, um, the liquid repellent yeah. capability or yeah. the environmental certifications um, or the sensing technologies yeah. that are being used. And I think those are areas where Flextronics can bring in qualified yeah. technologies, um, a short time to market yeah. and, and success. Yeah, and I you know I, I look at it in terms of if I'm if I'm investing in a company, I want to know that that company can manufacture that product, deliver it globally, and meet a certain price point. And if they say that to me, that's one thing. If a Flextronics, with all your experience and your, your scale, says that to me, I would feel much more confident about it, so there's add value there. Exactly, that's what we bring, is our ability to connect them to mm. a very robust supply chain yeah. of proven technologies that are manufacturable and can get to market on time. Yeah. And of course, the global services piece that we bring yeah. in as well. Yeah, fantastic. Anita, thanks very much for your time. Good luck all with right. your uh, Innovation Congress in Austria, and I hope we can speak again soon. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.